is Mickey Mouse. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Goofy. <laughs> well, you know what that song means. It means it's time to go on another adventure with Goofy and me. Come on along. We'll have fun. We'll meet new faces. We'll do things. And we'll go places. Oh, boy, Mick. I can hardly wait to go. Okay, Goofy. It won't be long now. Come along and sing the song and join the jamboree. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Come on, everybody join in. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Today, Goofy and I are going to tell you about a place where there are lots of elephants. Oh, boy. We're going to the circus. No, Goofy. The place I'm talking about is a whole country. Gosh, that sounds great, Mick. Do they have clowns there, too? <laughs> I don't think so, Goofy. But it's going to be fun. While Mickey and I tell you the story, you can read along with us in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page whenever you hear the chimes ring, like this. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go. One day, a letter covered with strange-looking stamps dropped into my mailbox. Goofy looked at the envelope while I read the letter. Gosh, Mick, I've never seen stamps like these before. <laughs> this one's shaped like a triangle, and it has an elephant on it. It's a letter from my old friend Rashid. He wants us to come visit him in India. India? Great. Maybe we'll be able to see the Indy 500 car race. That's Indiana, Goofy. <laughs> India is another country across the ocean in Asia. And they have elephants there? I've always wanted to ride an elephant. <laughs> you think we'll get a chance? I don't know, Goofy. That's a mighty big order. <laughs> a few days later, our plane landed in India. The airport was full of travelers, and some of them had on colorful local costumes. I knew India had a lot of people, but I didn't think they'd all be at the airport. <laughs> How are we going to find Rashid in this crowd? I'm not sure. Wait, there he is. Rashid, over here. Greetings, Mickey and Goofy. Welcome to India. We loaded our things into Rashid's car and a little while later pulled up in front of a huge palace. Well, my friends, here we are. Gosh, this is awful nice. <laughs> but where's your house? Goofy, this is his house. Rashid's grandfather was a powerful prince. We don't have royalty in India anymore, but this is still our family home. I'm sure glad I don't have to wash all those windows. <laughs> Rashid walked us around the palace and introduced us to his wife and his daughter, Sheila. Oh, Mr. Mouse, my father has told me so much about you. Come see the wonderful new pet he gave me. Her name is Bibi. Gosh, Mick, it's a baby elephant. You know, she seems kind of sad about something. Yes, she's been like that since we got her. We can't understand it. She gets the best food and a comfortable bed, and I play with her every day, but she's still unhappy. Gosh, what a shame. I even made her the pretty headpiece she's wearing, but that didn't cheer her up either. That headpiece has the biggest ruby I've ever seen. Yeah, and it has a big red rock on it, too. <laughs> Rashid, I hope you keep a close eye on little Bibi here. That jewel could be a powerful temptation to someone. That night, I had trouble sleeping. Goofy woke up and saw me staring out the window. What's the problem, Mick? I don't know exactly. Maybe you're just too excited to sleep, being in a foreign country and all. Maybe. But I've got a strange feeling that somehow Bibi's ruby is going to end up giving us trouble. 
The next morning, Rashid greeted us with a big smile. Well, my friends, what would you like to do today? Rashid, didn't you once tell me you live near a beautiful waterfall? You'd like to go there? Fine, we'll make a picnic of it. Now shall we drive or go by elephant? Elephant? Hot diggity dog! <laughs> Rashid, you just said the magic word. Rashid showed us how we travel on elephants. They had boxes like little houses on their backs for us to sit in. Riding an elephant can be somewhat rocky. I hope you don't get seasick easily. Seasick? <laughs> not me. At least, not on land. Rashid, I've got an idea. Why don't we bring Bibi along? Maybe being back in the outdoors will cheer her up a little. That's a wonderful idea. Soon we were deep in the forest. All around us we heard strange birds and animals. And on one side the Himalaya mountains rose halfway to the sky. But poor Goofy was too seasick to notice. Well, Goofy, have you ever seen anything like this? Whoa! All I want to see now is solid ground. How do I get down off this elephant? Gosh, Goofy, I thought everyone knew that one. You don't get down off an elephant. You get down off a goose. Get it? Goose down! <laughs> Why don't we stop for a minute at this pool? The elephants could probably use some water. Hey, Mick, maybe my elephant's just too tall. How about if I roll BB instead? I don't know, Goofy. You might be too big for her. Oh, she's pretty strong, don't you think? But when Goofy tried to sit on her back, BB squirted a trunk full of water into his face. <laughs> on second thought, maybe I'd rather walk. As we came around the next bend, there was the waterfall right in front of us. I'd never seen anything so beautiful. Rashid, who was riding in front of me, turned around to say something. Suddenly his eyes widened in surprise. Sheila, where is Bibi? I thought she was right behind us. She's nowhere in sight. When's the last time anyone noticed her? Oh, I guess it was back when she squirted me. I really noticed her then. She's too little to be by herself in the forest. I'm sure she'll be afraid. Maybe she just got distracted and wandered away. She couldn't have gone far. Don't worry, Sheila. We'll find her. Let's get going. The sooner we start, the better chance we'll have. As we hurried toward the pool, I pulled Goofy aside. What is it, Nick? I didn't want to say anything, but it could be that someone's after the jewel in Bibi's headpiece. Gosh, I didn't think of that. Just keep your eyes open, old pal. Let's be ready for anything. Rashid, maybe we can lure Bibi back to us. Does she have a favorite food? Oh, my, yes. She loves bananas. There's a banana tree. I'll climb up and get some. But when Goofy started climbing up the tree, a couple of monkeys stuck their heads out from behind the branches. Look, they're throwing things at him. Ow! Oh! Does Bibi have any other favorite foods? Oh dear, the forest is so big. How will we ever find Bibi? She could be anywhere. Yes, but she must have left a trail. Look, here are some broken branches. I bet she went this way. That's pretty smart, Mick. But not smart enough, Goofy. The trail ends right over there. I don't know where to look next. We split up to cover more territory. Goofy walked ahead and peered through a bush at the edge of a clearing and nearly bumped his nose on something that looked like a tall, ugly man. Yikes! Help, Mick! It's one of those elephant thieves. Calm down, Goofy. It's only a statue. <laughs> In fact, look around. The whole clearing is full of statues. But there was something else in the clearing. An ancient, crumbling building. Gosh, it looks like a big stone wedding cake. No, Goofy, 
It's an abandoned temple. If someone did take Bibi, this could be their hideout. Well, let's go look. Be careful. There's no telling what we might find inside. Gee, Mickey, I wish you hadn't mentioned that. We entered the temple being careful not to make any noise. Ancient carvings glared at us from every wall. Boy, Mickey, this place sure is spooky. Shh. If there's anybody here, we don't want them to hear us coming. G good idea. At that moment, something reared up out of the leaves right at Goofy's feet. With a yell, he went racing out of the temple. <laughs> Goofy, you don't have to be so scared. It's only a garden snake. <laughs> scared? Gosh, Mick, oh, I wasn't scared. Trying to look relaxed, he leaned back against a big rock. That was when he noticed what was behind the rock. It was a great big tiger. Now I'm scared. Whoa! Run, Goofy, run! We dashed into the next clearing and saw Rashid and Sheila waiting. Mickey, Goofy, there's a tiger chasing you. We know, we know, run! The four of us tore through the forest with the tiger not far behind. Suddenly we saw a high cliff ahead with no way around it. Jumping catfish, Mick. There's a whole mountain in our way. Now what? I don't know. Rashid, do you have any ideas? No, my old friend. I'm afraid I don't. We turned to face the tiger. Just as it got ready to spring, there was a crashing sound from the trees nearby, and the ground shook. Look, Mick, the tiger's running away. That noise must have scared him. <laughs> but what's making the noise? It's an elephant coming out of the forest. Gosh, I guess that elephant saved our lives. That's not the only thing she did. Look who's with her. Baby! I guess there never were any elephant thieves. Bibi just wandered off to look for her mother. And it looks like the little gal found her. <laughs> no wonder she's been sad. I doubt we could separate them again. Anyway, I wouldn't want to be the one to try. But Daddy, I can't give up Bibi. I love her. I've got an idea, Sheila. You might not have to lose Bibi after all. Try calling her over to you. Come here, Bibi. Come on, girl. Here she comes. And Mama's following her. Mickey, that was brilliant. Now we can bring both of them home with us. We went back to our elephants and got ready for the trip home. I'll tell you one thing, Mick. I'm never going to forget this visit. I've got a feeling Rashid and Sheila won't either. After all, they're taking home an awfully big souvenir. <laughs> yes, my friend, thanks to you. You and Goofy are welcome back anytime. All of us climbed back on our elephants. All except Goofy, that is. What's wrong, Goofy? Aren't you coming with us? Oh, sure, I'm coming. <laughs> but if it's all the same to everybody, I think I'll walk. <laughs> you know, Goofy, that BB sure was a cute little thing, wasn't she? Well, she was cute, but I don't know how little she was. One thing was sure, she loved to travel. How could you tell, Mick? Wherever she went, she always took her trunk. <laughs> And now, until next time. Well, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. M-I-C. See ya real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we like you. M-O-U-S-E So long! Bye-bye! See, See you next time!
next time. <laughs>